Okay, so the next step is to add inverse kinematics to the legs. So again, we're going to branch off from the existing skeleton. So we're going to take the skeleton blend controls and we're going to add another delete nodes joint. So we're going to feed that off of there. And what we're going to do here is we're going to basically select the three joints on the right leg and the three joints on the left leg and enter and then we're going to say delete non-selected. So we only have these joints right now. We're then going to put down a parent joints node and what we're going to do with this is we want to select all these joints and enter and parent them to nothing so they don't have a hierarchy right now that's not really necessary for what we're doing here better they work independently we're going to add an ik chain joint uh, node down and we're going to feed the skeleton in one side the three joints we have there and the other and this will allow us to select the root so we're going to start with the left hip, the left knee, and then we're going to add in the left ankle. And we can do set that up, then we press the plus key. This time we'll do the same thing for the right. The right hip, the right knee, and the right ankle. And we're going to match my name and orient the tip. Okay, so based on that, what you want to do is add a rig pose node in just before the IK chains. So it's going to allow us to take those ankle that we have and move them up and down to get kinematics. So there we go. So it's working. The only thing is we're getting a little bit of flipping on the knee. Because right now the knee is trying to orient itself to orient to itself. So therefore, as soon as we move the, the joint anywhere um, a little off, it starts to flip. So we can we can correct for that easily. What we'll do is add another rig pose node down. And we're gonna put that just after here. And what this will allow us to do is take those two joints and we're just going to move them forward and up a bit. And these essentially become the aim constraints. So if we go back to here and we move that up, we're not getting the flipping anymore um, as we set that up. And so this rig pose, we'll just say rig pose angles for now. And the next one will be rig pose. Well, or we'll call this the knee offset. And that offset uh, will allow us to actually control the orientation of the, the whole IK chain at a later date. And there we go. So things are moving, working more effectively uh, with this, but we now do have kinematics. And this works in such a way that. Um, you know, if you pick the COG and lower it, um, you know, you'll get kinematics that way as well. So, so now we're going to put in a skeleton blend, and we will, just like we did before, bring the original skeleton over, uh, bring the IK chains solution over, and set the display flag on that, and world space, and set the weight properly to 1. And just bring all of this down. And we'll feed that new solution into the bone to form. And if we set the display flag on the end of the chain, we'll see that we can go to this node here. If we want to pick up and get some kinematics out of that, and we can do the second one if we want to move the the knee 
or orient the knee. So we've got flexibility in a couple different places and we'll take advantage of that as we finish up setting the rig, setting up the rig.